Hello everyone and welcome to a new video where we try to gain rating points until 2000. Well, uh, where we last left off at Fortune 66, uh, this is meant to be an educational series where we are trying to improve ourselves, but we are not David Howell. Although I do look like him, and I'm probably as awkward as him. I am simply not him. So, the most common opening on the board, the knights, uh, king's pawns opening with knight f3. And we are at a crossroads of what to play. And obviously we want to play the most solid and reputable line that ever exists. So let's play bishop c5. Sacrificing a pawn. And apparently we, I think we are tripping our opponents out of theory with this move. He's thinking, should I trap the pawn? Is this stupid? It's indeed very stupid. And he plays bishop c4. And I have to say I'm out of theory after playing this move. So what's going on here? He's probably planning to play knight g5 and, you know, the classic right lever shit. And yeah, he can also do that with taking on e5. And we don't want to allow that, so we are playing knight c6. And we transpose to apparently an opening called the bishop's opening boy variation and now it's a joko piano um okay where we have this bishop that's undefended we have this pawn that's undefended but they can easily just defend each other so i don't think an attack there would be good uh but an attack on a pawn would always be nice i guess so let's play knight f6 and as you can see, we are already down two minutes on time. Well, one minute. All right, so. Yeah. He d plays d3 with the intention to probably play bishop g5. So let's prevent that by playing h6. And we let's just play prophylaxis the whole game through. Why not? Plays knight c3, which I think it's an accuracy. I think you want to push the pawn with the knight here. Uh, following Terry. So, yeah. But what do I know? I'm just the 1400s. He probably wants to bring the knight here. And the team of this game, Prophylaxis, let's stop his ideas and um, see where he is going with that. We could also just play d6, we could play a6. I think these are all very common moves in these positions. But I like to be um, original and like to play knight e7 here, preventing him from going here. But when? Can he still not go here? Yes, he can. In that case, we take. And after bishop take, we play c3 and d c6 and d5. And yes, did we blunder this pawn? Yes, we did. That's why you should play d6. I did not play d6. And I feel stupid. Yeah. But he hasn't picked up this pawn in forever, this game. So I don't expect him to take here. And I know that's not... Oh, now he does take after he could take the whole time. And now he has like a good version of um, whatever was on him. Okay, so we are in trouble. We are down on time. We're down a pawn. He's attacking this, so I think with the castle, and I'm gonna shut up and concentrate now. As we are probably losing this. Or th this must not be good. Yeah. So let's wait for our opponent to move, and yeah, okay, I see. The thing here okay my knight was clearly doing a very 
important job at c6. I shouldn't have moved it, uh, but I did. All right, he wants to trade off. Um, we need to be, we don't have much to say here, so we need to find some ways of playing this. And this is not the way, by the way. This is definitely not the way. But probably bishop b6 better. What I need to do now is really calm down uh, and really try to find some active defense here. He plays f5, really going for it because he's up a pawn. How dare he? But this does open up some line. This is not playable because it's defended twice. We want to get rid of this knight, but it's hard to see how. So hmm, we cannot play this because this is here. So we are in big, big trouble here. And the only move I see, like a real plan that I see is a6, b5, and then maybe push the, the bishop on the long diagonal, hoping for some kind of counterplay. Plan I see for him is probably something like this, but I don't see any concrete ways of doing that. We can also start with this move, stopping any knight d5s from coming in. But knight d5 is not scary. So let's start with a6 and we might then continue with b5. And let's hope our opponent uh, makes a mistake somewhere in this position and we will try our best to put as much um, pressure mm -hmm. on our opponent. All right, he plays a very obvious move, dropping the bishop back, but I th still think b5 is a solid move. All right, perhaps we can play bishop e7, but I'm not sure where the bishop belongs. It's actually doing a controlling more squares now than it's uh, doing on b7, if it makes sense. So let's find another move to play. We also have obvious between here and then here. That's a move. That's indeed a move. Um, and again, we're trying to get rid of this knight. How do we do this? If we play something like this, obviously it takes, but in a better version, let's say queen e8 and then this, it might be a bit better. And okay, we are not having any fun here, but I don't see us having any fun in that uh, square anyways. So yeah. and. Also, this is still a problem. Obviously, we cannot go here as we are then doing some stupid stuff. So the best idea I have now is to get rid of this best piece. That's the plan. And if he does that, then we just put our knight here, I guess. And then we have a good knight. We're down on the clock. Okay, he does this. And I don't, I see this threat. I have to do something about it. Let's take with this knight, um, and then we can continue with this probably. But okay, here takes, takes, and it's actually really hard to play already. So maybe we need to double take here. And then play f6. And it looks very ugly, but uh, yeah. If it takes with the pawn, um, that I did not even consider, which was obviously not so good. He has this threat like this now, and we cannot do, wow. Who knew that that was such a good move? Any ways? Could also attack the pawn again. Nothing wrong with that. And then he can defend the pawn. He can also attack the pawn like this now and give the bishop a bit of life. And if he plays queen f3, we have a, a nice uh, x-ray if he plays queen f3. So he has to solve something here. And if he plays this, I think we will just leave it like that. Maybe play this. Hmm. And obviously there's f6, but not in this position not yet 
Let's check. Okay. So let's play rook b8. Just a developing move. And okay, <laughs> the queen is getting claustrophobic, but yes, maybe it's not the best move. C4. I think we shouldn't take and solve his problems of his double pawns. I think we should now, maybe now is the time to play f6. And I say maybe because I'm not sure. We can also play knight f here and here. Because f6 is such a weakening move, I don't want to play it. So let's go here and here. And get a good active knight as well. You know, I can do what he can do. And if the time is right, I play f6. And cry myself to sleep. Rook b8, knight here, knight here. Does he have any checks? He could take here, but doesn't look good. Okay, let's just put a knight in a good square. Let's see, what's his plan here? Okay, he's having some fun here, doesn't he? He thinks he's really cool, like really, really cool. And I agree, he, he does kind of look cool in this position. He could also just drop the bishop back. Like my bishop is not doing anything here on this diagonal anymore. So let's just drop it back. He has no ideas in this position. He drops it back too. Let's be annoying, keep attacking this uh, queen of him. And this will buck him up, at the very least. Like, he's like, oh, stop doing that. And uh, yeah, that helps sometimes to annoy your opponent. I think annoying people could lower someone's rating points by like at least 300 points. Potentially 300 points. And something that I initially didn't spot is that he has this outpost now he could create this outpost here on the long diagonal uh, he has this double attack actually and i don't really have much to say in that so let's go rook d6 stopping that idea okay you can take a pawn or i don't know what you can still go here like a bad boy but this is just shows how bad my position is and he also could take a pawn. Yes, yes, yes. He could take that pawn as well. And we are th then even doing worse than before. Even worse than before. How is it possible? And how is that possible? So obviously, this is not good. We need to move out of the way as well. Knight of six. Queen can go here then. Hmm. Yeah, not good. We are also down on time. So the defense or the attempt of a defense is definitely not there. Okay, let's consider this for a moment. The queen takes. And then is there something here? No. So we should definitely move out of the way. Where is the queen best placed? That's the next question. Um, I think we just put it on here. Bishop is here and then the queen is here. We're doing stuff. Just doing stuff. Okay, rook here and then probably king takes because we need to get a few pieces active. And my idea will be fake to something like this, but um, it's obviously not clear how to defend in this position. His ideas are very easy. He just doubles up. Uh, yeah. Again, this pawn up for grabs, so we have to tell we play knight e4, prevent it from being taken. He takes that pawn, which might be horrible, but I think at the activating the knight is more important than now, and not losing this pawn, although we will probably still lose it. Place this, very logical move 
let's do here. I am running out of ideas, to be honest with you. I have to admit, this is looking very dire. Like the only hope I have is the clock, and the clock is also not happy with me. So yeah, things are not looking great today. And it all started with the palm. But honestly, how I followed up was not good either. Like all the activity got got nothing. I should have tried to get something in return for the palm, but there was just simply not much. But I think at least we give a good fight, even though we're losing. Okay, it goes there. He definitely has some ideas here. Okay, I actually see some hope maybe. And we have to start with confusing him. <laughs> as dumb as that sounds. So we, we take there. He might, you know, take, but who cares? It's definitely not good what I'm playing. Like, all the better I'm, I'm probably solely losing. But maybe there's some hope. For example, queen takes and then here, and let's say, oh wow, this ca actually came with check. What is he doing actually? He's not playing the best moves. I think that's what we should be wondering. Okay, the whole diagonal is open. Okay, he plays that. I am. I say to you, I don't care. I go here. I fall. I can do something like this. Obviously he has this threat here. Mm. Just needs to double up here. Okay, bishop here. Perhaps even there. Nothing good. Why is he all so crazy for this rook all of a sudden? Doesn't make sense. He's down to two minutes, but we're down to one. And obviously we're gonna take the time if he needs to. Do we have any counter player there? Like he just needs to double up and I, I'm pretty much forced to play this, right? Here, okay, solid move, solid, solid. Hoping the queen would go off the diagonal. And this doesn't work. He does have this check. Oh, he has this check. I missed it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now it's over. Now it really is over. Now it's... Yeah. He just takes and I... Yeah, that's even better. Wow. Awful. 40 seconds, but the position is just hopefully lost. And I missed qu uh, kicks on f7. Yeah, that's such a pity, actually. Mm. Yeah, now we're just waiting for him to blow it up. Yeah, I think there is a good move. Let's just pr make it a little bit hard for him. Let's just a little bit. Alright, we have to go all the way back all right drop this all right that's something okay let's go here try for the bishop Okay, let's try to promote it then. Okay, time scrambles, interesting. Take a palm, go 
go back. Time to checks. Try to activate the king now. All right. Obviously, not letting. Okay, now it's getting a bit tricky. some time but we gave a really good fight there I'm still uh, you know happy we didn't get mated let's analyze the game so yeah lost against the 1400 whatever who cares and the game started with a very dubious opening I was clearly not doing well after here I played this fancy looking move which just blunders the pawn but we still should be okay all the engine hog plates and the uh, things that position get worse and worse. Castle's best move we should take, says engine. And we played this, and now um, it's already a little bit less good because you know we don't have any center and you can just storm with the pawns. So, a6, best move actually, b5. And I wasn't sure about what to do, so I just. Uh, <laughs> Although engine also suggests that we should look at this queen d6 was best move and now queen d4 is slowly creeping up the list this e6 also should something to consider to just trade off and uh, hope the attack wavers off and here we slowly get a worse position um, and suggest f6 here to just pick away the knight but I keep um, doing stupid stuff here and now wow it actually says that knight c2 here is drawing and after e2 knight d4 and back we get a sort of repetition and let's say you go here then we have knight e3 forking and that's crazy so this is actually already a sort of forcing repetition which is like very much crazy very much crazy and let's say you go here you're stopping this fork then you have f5 <laughs> it's crazy okay um so i missed that here Ooh. so the engine actually prefers to take here and after let's say rook takes we take here and we sack the queen for two pieces and we have a game but after you know taking it still doesn't look good obviously yeah this is probably still losing the game continues and he gets all the play in the world and for some reason i go crazy here as well he takes, I take. And here, obviously, the best move is just to take the pawn. And let's say he takes this pawn. Then hmm, we just take back. And okay, we're down the exchange, down a pawn. But maybe some hope, I don't know. F4 here. And if he tries this again, takes on F5. Because he has here, oh yeah, stupid. Okay. So takes, takes, knight goes up, we keep taking, we kind of get somewhere, but here I apparently make a mistake, because I should go knight f6 here, I instead want to keep this uh, alive, but yeah, and here I miss knight, rook takes on f5, the bishop was guarding that square, and I get a, another way of uh, giving away everything the, the rook here comes at the yeah I, I totally missed this thread as well but I don't think that there was anything to do here either 
So I lose my queen. He loses his, his yeah, he sacks his queen. He just takes and we get this. And I surprisingly get a lot of you know, it's not obvious how to win this. So he just fumbles around and he learns some time. And he won also because the position was easier to play for him. Because I'm obviously I'm trying really hard to defend here. But my defensive skills are kind of lacking, which is something I need to work on. So, what did we learn from this game? One, do not play your piece twice in the opening, especially not when you plunder a pawn. Two, I think the lesson here is to always play f6. Not in this position, obviously, but uh, maybe in this position with f6 was good. Three. Oh yeah, so to, to follow up on your plan, don't go crazy with your knights because you're just wasting time. That's also just uh, why I kind of lost. F6 again here, good move. And just play the best moves. Don't play on psychology, I guess, in this case, maybe when you're on time. And yeah, work on my defense skills. It was clearly not good. Uh, yeah, so that was the game. Hope you liked it. I, I put in a good effort. Uh, it was definitely not good. Uh, yeah. See you in the next video.